Hi everyone, I'm going to make an Arjuna pitch today and I'm, I'm in a daisy a kind of mood. These all uh, are uh, free printables from uh, the Graphic Fairy uh, website. Uh, uh, there are a lot of daisies there that you can print whatever you want. I just printed this one and this one and I j played with them on Photoshop. So, because uh, I figured uh, I will save printer paper and I just uh, took this uh, flower and just uh, put it separately on my page and then I've enlarged it and done uh, these parts. But you don't have to, I just, I don't know why I started playing with my Photoshop and that's what I came out with. I could have just printed a whole bunch of daisies <laughs> in all kinds of sizes and be done with it. So I fussy cut it, but not really a, I wasn't so fussy a, about it. And I found out that after being a, sometimes a, a little bit OCD about a, cutting a, around images, that we are a lot of time putting Posca, white Posca pen or gel uh, pen afterwards to give highlights to uh, images. And I figured out that instead making my eyes pop out of my head, I can just <laughs> cut it as closely as I can without uh, going to all the trouble. So that's my images. I'm not sure uh, if I will use all of them but I am going to uh, use them on several on my page and I want each one of them to mount on a different kind of background and I started picking from my stash uh, all kinds of paper that I have all kinds of leftovers and I want some a little bit uh, a look of uh, an antique so I this is leftover from scrapbook paper this is another leftover this is plain a uh, brown paper from a paper bag that i just stamped on and wrinkled it so it's left uh, over from another project i've got this this was a page from inside of a very old encyclopedia uh, if you remember once upon a time in encyclopedias or other kinds of uh, books the first uh, pages were marbled or something like that so I took this out I've got this for a handmade paper a leftover from another project that I'm thinking maybe to use I've got an um, dictionary pages that I wiped uh, some excess paint and I really like them I'm thinking of using, definitely using one of this, only just uh, toning down uh, the background. I have a piece of a music sheet, another uh, page from some book. This is a scrapbook paper, but it looks like a, like a dictionary. Some uh, tea dyed uh, paper. I also have some rice paper that again I sprayed and f left over from another project and some more brown paper and I haven't planned uh, yet what is going on top of what the only thing I know is that I want part of this page this one I absolutely know that I want and I want my larger daisy on top of it something like this and I want some a uh, torn edge edges and I found this <laughs> ruler at my cheap store that has this uh, kind of uh, ending and this kind so I'm going to try let's start here although I don't need it from up here So first I just want to have 
the size, the backing for each uh, one of the flowers. Let's see, maybe I need it more. Yeah, just a little bit more. probably do it I think yeah yeah just a little bit more and I'm going to trim also here work so well <laughs> never mind let's do it like this good enough for me so this one is going here but as I said I want to tone it down I already have here some gesso and I'm going to add water to it here and I'm just taking a little bit of gesso and mixing with the water and just going mostly on the inside although the flower will be here and if I feel it's not enough I'm adding gesso like so and I don't want straight lines just like this and I still have the full uh, uh, amount or tone of the paint in, uh, in the edges only the center is toned down let's see although it's wet I just want to see yeah so I already have a piece for this flower so I'm going to move this here and now I want for this one and I'm going to pick another a, another kind of a paper maybe the music sheet let's see yeah this can work really nice so um but I want to add some color to it so let's see I have here some a uh, brown spray you can use watercolors whatever you have like so I'm toning it down with more water I don't want brown completely just splotches of <laughs> color like so yeah and what I really like is some splatter this I'm not going to tone down let's see where is my fan brush yeah and I feel it needs a little bit more color and I'm going to add some blue and first I'm going to uh, put it here where I still have brown and just a little bit of water because I'm afraid that it will overwhelm everything and I'm trying to do it really really careful yeah and let's see maybe I can yeah just a little bit 
so I'm going to let this dry and maybe I'm not sure yet maybe I will go with the gesso the same way the same way I've done here this is still wet and this is still wet moving this aside next <laughs> let's wipe this mess so I want a variation and interest in the backings of my pieces let's see uh, maybe this one would be nice yeah this could be something nice to play with so uh, let's see if I can do the the edges so they won't be straight yeah Good enough for me and if I'm putting the flower here then let's cut it here and I'm changing the pressure when I'm tearing the this page so it won't be straight even though the edges are now a uh, oops yeah, I, I'm going for not straight. <laughs> yeah. And so this is going to be the backing for this one. And again, this looks to me and the it needs some color and this time I'm not diluting yeah just picking out the brown like this and now I'm taking instead of the blue that I used I'm taking this spray uh, these are all handmade homemade <laughs> <laughs> gel food coloring few drops of gel food fo coloring with water if you don't have gel food coloring try uh, and of course if you don't have like I we don't have here brushels or magicals or whatever so that was my uh, solution um, the other uh, way to go about making uh, sprays there are several ways but the easiest and most uh, likely ones are like you can take the powder uh, of textile dye and mix it with water and you uh, will have sprays okay so another one that needs to uh, dry and this one is going for this and that's only the beginning <laughs> As I said, I'm I'm making each one a, a backing and I'm not even sure that I'm going to use a, each and every one. I don't know. Let's see. Can I do something with this one? Here I don't need to do anything. I've got the brown paper. I've got a stamping on it. I just need to cut to the size I want. Yeah. So I, I'm already going to just glue this down with a glue stick it doesn't need more than that and after everything will be glued to the backing that I've planned for them I will also work on the inside of each daisy so things to come okay so I've got one here let's make another one something like that yeah I can go for it 
let's see. Uh, I think I will distress the edges later. Right now I'll just take this. Here we go, another one that can already be glued down. And looking for another. <laughs> what do I want to? Let's see. Maybe this one. Yeah. this and I just need to distress the edges I'm using this thing that you buy in cosmetics uh, shops it's supposed to be for dry skin and you can use this you can use uh, your scissors like this whatever works for you Lots of dust, lots of mess, <laughs> but that's how it starts with lots of mess. So this one's going to be like this and I want again to add some and I think the blue here also and a little bit of water. Yeah, here we go, another one that needs to dry. Where did I put my... Mm. Mess, mess, mess. Never mind. So, I'm leaving this be. And I'm going to just make more of these for this uh, three flowers and I'll be back. I'm back. So my flowers are mounted on the pieces I've made. Uh, one daisy just disappeared on me. I'm just a magician. I can't find it, but I will <laughs> work with what I have. And I want, I already started coloring and I'm going to show you what I've done. So I wanted some green here and I didn't like the green that I had here. So I just took some olive uh, green acrylic paint. This one, it's called forest green, but it doesn't look to me like forest green, <laughs> whatever. And I just took a little bit of water and uh, the acrylic paint and went over because I didn't want a complete coverage. There is. There are details uh, in the drawing of all this and I didn't want to lose them. So, uh, another thing is I went on the inside and put some yellow and I'm going to do on this large uh, flower. Just took some yellow, dabbed it and made sure that it doesn't cover the details so yellow finished in all my flowers and what I wanted to do is add a little color to all uh, my petals and there is no such a thing as complete white and I decided that I am adding some blue into it and I've already done this here so what I've done I've 
put some uh, uh, again acrylic paint this is a uh, Persian uh, blue by crimson it really doesn't matter you can go with grays you can I can even go and make some of the petals with a little bit uh, a hint of green it really doesn't matter so I just uh, added it here where I have the gesso and I'm going to do the larger flowers so you can see what I'm doing and I'm just adding a hint to my flower and I'm not trying to cover everything I'm leaving white and then it seems like I have a variation and highlights to my petals now you can also uh, if you are uh, concerned about using uh, a fine uh, paintbrush with acrylics and you you're feeling that you are not in control just take felt pens or whatever you have and color inside if you want to color it doesn't have to be so here is one here is another one just so you will see what I'm doing If I feel I need more of the blue, I will add blue. If I feel I need more of the white, I will add white. And uh, even if I make a mistake, I can wait for it to dry and go in with some permanent marker and go over the lines so it really doesn't matter and nothing to stress about so i'm going to continue doing this with all my flowers and i'm gonna come back oops i'm back so i want to start putting a what I have on my page but I know that all these pieces won't cover everything so I want to do some background I don't want them on this stark white background I'm going to what I'm going to do is use what I have here left here which is gesso with other colors and each time dip into one of them like so and just play there is nothing to control here. Most of it will get covered by my pieces, but I want everything to tie together, so I'm using the same colors. I'm keeping the yellow uh, for last. Uh, I don't want it to dominate my page. So only after I will lay down these colors, I will add a little bit of the yellow. And I need more gesso. Oops. I don't really need everything to get covered, but still.
trying to be quick about it because this is really not the main thing of this page. Okay, dipping lightly into the yellow. <laughs> Just a hint. Too much more <laughs> gesso. I knew this yellow can be a problem. Yeah. Well, it seems like this is enough. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit more blue. Yeah. I really like this blue. Okay, this is it. That's my uh, background, and this needs to be completely dry. And I need to start uh, playing with my uh, placement of my items. I do know that I want this here, and I also in uh, I'm thinking about inking the edges, so each piece will have more. Um, Present more <laughs> definition. I will see. I'm thinking something like that. Uh, something, something. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, something like that. And I'm going to ink around the edges. And I thought about using some brown but now i'm looking at it and i think i'm going a uh, blue i've got nautical blue by momento and let's see do i have a blending tool here yeah uh, or maybe i'll just use a cosmetic sponge easier yeah so I'm just going to go uh, around all my pieces like with uh, the cosmetic sponge like so and I'm also going in a little bit not on only at the edges I think I like it more like that like so and especially corners I like to get in inside more but that's how I like it. You can do whatever you want. So like this. I'm going to do all these uh, pieces the same way and get back when this is dry and we can glue down all the pieces. I'll be back. I'm back. So inked around all my pieces, inked around the page and then started to play with the placement of all these pieces until I got here and I just glued everything with a glue stick and I really like it. I'm thinking about adding some words but right now I'm <laughs> uh, nothing comes to mind so I'm leaving uh, this page as is. So 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments below. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.